pizza. My mind beats on And no words come Taxi Taxing tiring Unyielding unproductive My mind beats My mind beats on No sleep restores me I, Aschenbach, famous as a master writer I suspect the easy judgment of the heart. Now passion itself has left me. And delight in fastidious choice. My mind beats so. My mind beats on, and I am at an end. Oh, tender leaves and tardy spring, refresh me. It is here, the silent graveyard, and the silent dead. Yes. From the black rectangular hole in the ground. Light everlasting, would that the light of inspiration had not left me. Oh, he's dead.
insolent fellow. I won't, don't want to notice him. Of 
No choice for the living, no choice for the dead. Where is the man going? I want to go to Scavone. The signore is going to the Lido. Yes, by Vaporetto. The signore cannot go by Vaporetto. The Vaporetto does not take baggage. That is my affair. You will turn around. <laughs> Nobody shall bid me. I go where I choose. I go my own way, I have nothing to lose. Is it money he's after? The signore will pay. I will pay nothing if you do not take me where I want to go. To the Lido. But not with you. I know you well. Oh, he rose well. I shall leave him alone. I know how my brother. Go back to my dreams. I did what I did. Must be all the waters here. Let me look my life. So please. One moment, please. I have not paid the gondolier. Why? He's gone. Gone without his money. He made off, signore. Oh, 
chance nonetheless and here is the room as you commanded and look signore the view the view of the beach from our rooms is superb from this one especially Inside your room, but private and frequented, you may see it and see the world go by. Oh, men of letters like the Signore take pleasure in the contemplation of their fellow. Thank you. For the Signore is well on in our country. Thank you. Very nice, quite satisfactory. Prego, egregio, signor. Von Aschenbach. to Venice once again. Egregio Signor von Aschenbach, the writer who has found a way to reconcile art and honors. The lofty purity of whose style has been officially recognized and who has accepted, even welcomed, the austere demands of maturity. Yes, I turned away from the paradox and daring of my youth. Renounced bohemianism and sympathy with the outcast soul. To concentrate upon simplicity, beauty, form. Upon these all my art is built. Now, in this beautiful, agreeable place, 
I intend to give myself to the leisured world for a spell. A pleasant journey, did he say? The whole experience was odd, unreal, out of normal focus. to come what is there in store for me here? but there is the sea and near by serenissima though the sky is still The song is of another kind. That was a most interesting exposition. We should have Mario guide us again. Mario, Mario, Mario. This
How does such beauty come about? What mysterious harmony between the individual and the universal law produces such perfection of form? Would the child be less good, less valuable as a human being if he were less beautiful? The fact is that in that disciplined family, beauty dominates. The severe, plain little girls must be quiet, demure. The elegant boy may show off his grace. No doubt Mama, with her fabulous pearls, indulges herself in a pampering partial love. Just as I indulge myself in these novelist speculations. There is indeed in every artist's nature a wanton and treacherous proneness to side with beauty. I left before. Thank you. 
than the sea. What can be better than this? Ah, how peaceful to contemplate the sea. Immeasurable, unorganized, or blue. I long to find rest in perfection. And is not this a form of perfection? Ah, here comes Eros, his very self. I was not mistaken, it is very good. So the little Polish god is proud, proud like all his race. He's human after all. There is a dark side, even to perfection. Is it from Thaddeus, short for Thaddeus? Thank you. 
my little beauty. You notice when you're noticed. You notice when you're noticed. Do you? As one who strives to create beauty, to liberate from the marble mass of language the slender forms of an art, I might have created him. Perhaps that is why I feel a father's pleasure, a father's warmth in the contemplation of him. Yes, Aschenbach. You have grown reserved, self-sufficient since the death of a wife and marriage of an only daughter. Dependent not upon human relationships, but upon work and again work. How much better to live, not words, but beauty, to exist in it and of it. Much better than my detached and solitary I'm a 
must go away back to the mountains and the fresh mountain air. But where, where shall I go? Signore's package. Resto, resto. Si, pronto. Si, si. It is here. The motorboat is waiting. It is too soon. You allow too much time. I will not be hurried. I will follow my gondola. Bene, signore. Yes, I must go. Does it seem fresher this morning? And the wind have changed? For the last time touch you, it was to breathe. Have my baggage. Safe, signore. Gone on the train to Como. Gone, gone to Como. That is not where I'm going. Sorry, signore. Mi dispiace, signore. You must find it. Get it back. Without it, I cannot go. You understand? I cannot go. I shall return to the hotel. Arrange for the baggage to be sent back there. Very good, signore. In the twinkling of an eye, it shall be back. Gondor Perry to the Lido at once. Come, 
like one of my early heroes, passive in the face of hate. What do I really want? First, I am grief-stricken, but must go because of the danger to my health. Then I am furious because I am forced to return. But secretly I rejoice, vacillating, irresolute, absurd. The whole experience has been disruptive to my thoughts and to my work. Yet, in spite of it, I feel my spirits rise. Often what is called disruptive is not directed against life, but is invigorating a renewal.
my style The power of beauty sets me free I will write what the world waits for Rejoicing in his presence When thought becomes feeling, feeling thought The victor, the admiration of all. I must say, well done. I must speak to him, speak to him. We will become friends. It is easy, nothing more natural. Too oh, late. I couldn't, couldn't do it. This is frenzy, absurd. The heat of the sun must have made me ill. So long passes back and forth between life and the
has come to thee. I can find no better description of my state than the hackneyed words. I love you. Overcome by beauty, I tried quite simply to use the emotion released for my own creation. What I wrote was good, quite what was expected of me, to the point, yet poignant. But when it was done, I felt degraded, as if I had taken part in an orgy. Then I was moved to put this relationship, if so one side an affair can be called a relationship, onto a natural footing. I would hail the boy, exchange a few words with him. I couldn't, couldn't do it. My beating heart and trembling limbs refused to obey my will. So I had to mock myself as the crestfallen lover. understands the workings of the creative mind. Nonetheless, so be it. This I love you must be accepted. Ridiculous but sacred to and no, not dishonorable, even in these circumstances. Just a trifle, you'll tell us a few words. Your head down if you please. But what does that just say? You hear this German? Ah, your compatriots are always very careful. But so nice. Take the von Becks. I've tended the von Becks for many summers. A splendid affair, if I may say so. Remarkable for someone in his middle years and such a youthful skill. Marati, signore. Each year they spend the summer with us. Va bene, signore. But now, after ten days, they have gone. Gone back to the cold and welcoming north. Head up just a little. The signore is not leaving us. He does not fear the sickness, does he? Sickness, sickness, oh sickness! Nothing, nothing. I know nothing. What you meant? It is not important. It is nothing. You must know what you mean. Take a notice, sir. It is not important. You fancy this old sir? Delectable censor. The signore now takes little interest in such things. I know. That is it, signore. Next week at the same time. Va bene, signore. Prego, signore. Prego, prego. Sickness. What sickness? More than a malaise from the Chirocco. A sickness to drive. Oh, 
Officially denied. Rumors and of incipient plague in Venice officially denied. Ah, here it is. We doubt the good faith of the Venetian city fathers in their refusal to admit to the cases of cholera in the city. German citizens should return as soon as possible. Be silent. The city secret growing darker every day, like the secret in my own heart. They must receive no heed. They must not be told. They must not leave.
and past all fear, led to danger, drunken, powerless. Sunk in the bliss of madness, ah, does your name and under whose influence you, the artist, made the life of art into a service, a hero's life of struggle and abstinence. Yes, but when heroes have flourished, heroes has flourished too. It was no shame to them to be enthralled. Rather, it brought them praise, it brought them honor.
and on always used to tell me, leave the blondes alone, Sally. Always used to tell me, don't you choose brunette, Sally? Sono tutti traditrici, traditrici, sono tutti traditrici. Padre mio, always used to tell me, never touch a redhead, Sally. Sono tutte. 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 Workies. Signore. Why are they disinfecting Venice? Honest, honest, just honest. So there is no plague in Venice. Huh. That's a good one. Perhaps the Sirocco's a plague. Or the police, they are a plague. No, you've got it wrong, Signore. It's the heat, the heat, and the weather. Basta! Basta! Here, hands off! What did you say to the German, Signore? Nothing! Let go! What did you say? Told him he was talking a lot of nonsense. That's what I told him. And then they're waiting and find you not a word.
If you please, one moment, if you please, one moment, if you please, one moment, if you please, information, please, it is most urgent, please pay attention to me, information, one moment, if you please, all places on the wagon news for the night. One moment, if you please. I'm sorry, Signori. We are closed. These people hurry to leave. The end of the season, sir. What are these warnings for over the city? The city always takes precautions in this weather. Is that the truth? That is what they say, what we are told to believe. But in these last years, Asiatic cholera has spread from the delta of the Ganges to Hindustan, to China, Afghanistan. And thence to Persia. They thought it would travel westwards by land, but it came by sea to the southern ports Malaga, Palermo. Last May, two dead bodies were discovered here in Venice with signs of the plague. It was hushed up. In a week, there were ten more, twenty, thirty. A guest from Austria went home and died, hence the reports in the German newspapers. The authorities denied it. The city had never been healthier, they said. Death is at work. The plague is with us. It flourishes, redoubles its powers. It is violent, convulsive, suffocating. Few who contract it recover. The hospital at Chimico is full. The traffic to San Michele is continuous. And, sir, the authorities are not moved by scruples or by international agreements. They fear for their pockets if there should be panic or blockade. Meanwhile, the city is demoralized. Crime, drunkenness, murder, organized vice. Forces arrive. Sir, take my advice. The blockade cannot be far off. Rather than put it off till tomorrow, you would do well to leave today. Thank 
Thank you, young man. Good night, sir. It is true, every word. So it is true, true, more fearful than I thought. I must warn them, warn the lady of the pearl, speak to her now. Madam, I will say, allow a perfect stranger to give you a warning. Madam, I will say, go away at once. You are in danger. Venice is in the grip of the plague. Do you not see how everyone is leaving? You must go to with your daughters and with Atio. Your son, Madam, I will say, Madam. decent and above board. Missed the opportunity to become myself again. Missed the opportunity to regain my reason, my self-possession. But what is self-possession? What is reason, moral sense? What is art itself compared to the rewards of chaos? The city's secret, desperate, disastrous, destroying is my hope. I will not speak. Stranger God, no, reject 
In one's middle life, everyone should make a stand against advancing years. What a signore, a credo signore. Great, oh, just a trifle. Due to lack of interest, you wouldn't neglect your health, your teeth. Then why refuse the use of cosmetics? Cosmetics? Nothing ages a man like gray Permit me to aid it just a little, just a little. Very wise, magnificent, all the difference. Abeni, signore. Now, if we were to tone up the skin, oh, just a little, a very little. Signore, my forte. To bring back the appearance of youth. La bene, signore. Keep some brilliance to the eyes. Nothing brightens the face like the eyes. Head back, signore. Quite, quite still. An ex 
excellent subject, if I may say so. Guardate, signore, va bene, signore. Prego, prego, a masterpiece, a masterpiece. Now the signore can fall in love with a good grace. Prego, 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 prego. Addio, signore, prego, signore. Soft, musty, overripe. Chaos, chaos and sickness. Through 
Aschenbach. Signore, the lady and her family now return to their home in the cold, cold north beyond the mountains. When, after luncheon, to be sure. Yes, Signor von Aschenbach. The season comes to an end. Our work is nearly done. No doubt, the senior. Enjoy the most. Thank you. 